Why is life so difficult at times? I actually don't know. And it's a question I've been thinking about a lot lately. And uh, my process has been really intense and weird the past couple of weeks. I've felt really relieved and I've lived in the moment and been fulfilled and happy and on the contrast side I feel totally lost totally useless and uh, just questioning the existence of life and it's weird how fast everything can change and I don't know about you but lately the change has been just so big it's like going from total darkness to total light and then it just suddenly switches and I guess it's it's kind of universal especially on, on the spiritual side and the content online a lot of people are struggling and uh, I, I think the the whole the whole world is struggling but also finding more hope in in a better world and uh, this I don't know if you're familiar with this 3D and 5D consciousness and the race of consciousness, but for me, it's it feels like being torn apart in two different worlds, and and the world I was raised in is something that it just feels weird and it feels like it's gonna be outdated and the new world i think it's not completely here yet it's it's more about human connection it's more about being and feeling and and doing stuff from joyful experiences and excitement and uh just from the inside and, and the, the biggest struggle I've had is, is making money and it, it's so superficial and everybody says that yes we need money we need money to be able to to buy stuff and and uh, and like all the jobs all the work is kind of made because of money and yeah, I've gone through like limiting beliefs and it's probably my limiting beliefs and my traumas and all that. And that's why I, I ain't able to make money. And, and uh, there's probably some truth to it, but the fundamentals of money and how money is being made in this current world, that feels like a flaw it feels like why do we some people print money and they bounce up and down these different rates and and uh, different currencies and the value goes up and down and there's really no real point of connection and and it's it's a game of who can win the most who can get the most and and, and it's kind of this survival game but if you go to the fundamental level of of life and energy and what we probably are we're energy and frequencies and and uh, a consciousness playing games with itself to be able to experience itself in different forms and that fundamental makes this thing so confusing because 
if everything is from the same source and we're all energy, then it means that all bad things are from the same source and it's like without any value it's not bad or good and, and all the good things are also so everything just is but when you try to live from something that just is does it matter if you do something good or bad and who decides what is good or bad and it's just so confusing and what are you supposed to do I don't know. Is it a good thing that I'm filming a video? I honestly don't know. And it might be a bad thing. It might be that I'm uh, using some scarce resources that kills the animals or whatever. But does that matter? If everything is the same energy and energy can't be destroyed and, and energy is just transformed? I don't know if if you're having any thoughts like this i would love to hear because for me when i've started to go deep into consciousness and to kind of physics and and all stuff like this it just gets so confusing and i know how i feel the best to to live and that would be like from excitement and doing stuff and, and kind of get this rush and, and pleasure and joy. But is it any better than sadness or anger or, or these kind of feelings? Because if it's pure energy, can you just see everything from a pure vibrational energetic viewpoint is that the point to understand that nothing matters and what makes anything matter I'm confused and still really clear about everything and if I had to choose I believe that everyone makes a purpose of life and that's your beliefs and your values and stuff. But when you kind of go through this stripping down of everything in your past and everything that you thought before, it's really hard to decide to to be like, oh, but so if I've resetted all my life and my brain, so what should I believe? What values do I want to, to live by? And I have values, of course. I have like, my child is, is the biggest reason why I will never give up. But I just think it's important to talk about these things because I feel a lot of people live according to their values and beliefs that are given to them. And they don't question everything on a fundamental level ever. And that's why they will never really find their passion and purpose and, and to kind of go through all these really confusing and difficult stages when you kind of you lose yourself and logically i know that you need to lose yourself to be able to find yourself because the thing that i was before was a combination of beliefs and and rules and uh, like ideas that has been implemented during my 37 years on on this planet so i feel there's like a disconnection to everything and also probably because i don't really have a 
a community. I, I basically live with my, my family in Bali and, and uh, I've kind of gone into this cocoon stage and just re-evaluating everything. And I, I don't know, maybe this is just the, I went to Bali to find myself and <laughs> it's not my first time here, but I don't know what's with this place, but it just, it, it has awakened ideas and thoughts inside of me that I never really realized. I never really stopped to think about this deeply. And um, I guess like the, the thing why I stopped is because everything just felt so unfulfilled. And especially I, I've been building my personal brand online for a year now and it just feels so empty it feels so stupid and yeah i've helped some people but like the whole idea with a personal brand is to build online something that you help others build online and and it's just taking us away from the real world the natural world if if that's what we call this thing that we get projected in our our brain because that's another thing when you go deep you realize that there isn't anything else than your brain kind of projecting things and uh yeah maybe that's an another video another time but is there any point in trying to build the internet any bigger like what's the point of yeah I can make money online but then I spend most of my time online is that real life is that really a good thing to do and like on on Twitter on X I've done like 14,000 posts on in a year and it all just feels so pointless like what's the point what is the point in doing that? And there's so many people rushing in and they're like, yeah, we can make so much money. We, I'm just going to be this teacher. I'm just going to do all these cool stuff online. And so, so what's the point? For me, it feels more meaningful to talk about these things on video because written text there's like ai there's bots there's whatever who can make these written texts and and you just go in this yeah i'm just gonna I'm just i want to be a writer because that can give me a lot of money okay cool what if you just write and you don't get money would you still write like i don't get money from doing these videos but actually feels like there's a point even if just like 10 people see this video even if no one sees this video so it's like therapy for me also and and if i can be a better person in this world the real world what we perceive as real maybe that's enough because if we think about the consciousness thing and awareness it's the idea is to to raise your vibration and and your consciousness and your feelings are certain vibration this this i don't remember his name like hawkins or something he has this level of consciousness and all levels are attached to some feeling and and the the highest one is enlightenment and the, the lowest one is shame so the idea this could be the idea of of life and the purpose of life is to try to be as high on this scale as possible and i know there's a lot of people doing that and they're striving for enlightenment but i don't know if 
is internet the thing that we need to be enlightened because I think life itself is the thing and the moment is the only thing we have and that's another thing when you realize that <laughs> there is no future there is no past there is just memories and uh, visualizations there isn't anything else than this moment and I, I just finished reading Eckhart Tolle's The Power of Now and that's one big thing why I'm also this confused and kind of just like, what? Because when reading that book, I had like a week that I was really, I felt fulfilled. I was in the moment and I did stuff that I felt was really good. But most of the stuff was just being stagnant and taking in information. And then I just dropped like really really low and, and it felt like okay I don't even know where to start when start doing again because it felt like yeah I'm just being trapped in my mind again and the mind is bad you need to get out of the mind you need to be in the moment but if life and if the end of life is anyway going to be enlightenment and back to source and you're going to be this oneness with the consciousness isn't life about living in this three-dimensional world and experiencing pleasure joy pain suffering whatever and that's the real question i don't have an answer for but for me, it feels like life is about going between this fully present, just being one to using all these mind tools and time and, and planning and whatever actions you have. And uh, also the consciousness scale, kind of you go back and forth. I don't know. Maybe it's the point is to get as high as possible away from fear and pain and, and stuff like that. But I honestly don't know. And I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. But I just felt that I needed to talk about something. So if you're interested in listening and finding out more how i think you can like this video and subscribe to my channel that would help me spread my ideas okay peace out